Hi there stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and today is an exciting day because it is my Stampa Demonstrator Group's blog hop for August. Our theme is fall this month. We have some fantastic projects to share with you. Today's video is going to be my project and I'm going to show you how to make it. And when you're done watching the video, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end of the video because we have a giveaway, a fantastic giveaway that you are not going to want to miss out on. And then after that, you're going to want to pop on over to my blog, one, so you can enter the giveaway, and two, so you can take the blog hop tour and see all of my Stampin' Group's fantastic projects. So here's my project. This is created with a sneak peek set from the upcoming Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog that will be available to customers on September 1st. And it's available to demonstrators right now. We're really excited about it. I'm going to show you some really cool techniques on this. Not only watercoloring, but I'm also going to show you some masking and I'm going to show you a tip on how to use this stamp front and back. All right, let's get started. And here's that awesome card up close. Absolutely. I love, love, love this card. One thing that may be hard to pick up on the video is that it's actually done with the shimmer white cardstock. It's a little bit more forgiving when you're watercoloring and I think it makes a big difference as opposed to using something like Whisper White. Whether you're using Shimmer White or whether you're using the watercolor paper, either one of those will give you a much, much better look in the end. So all the supplies and dimensions that I'm using are listed on my blog simply by clicking on the link in this description and you can download the free PDF there. You can also purchase all the supplies there. I am using the brand new upcoming Seasonal Chums stamp set. It's a super cute set. Um, this you'll be able to purchase as a customer on September 1st. As a demonstrator, it's available now. It's coming up in the new holiday catalog. It does have a matching set of framelit dies. And this is the catalog that'll be coming out. If you don't have it yet, you can um, click on the link in the description and it, there will be information there on how you can get that on my blog. So I'm going to show you some tricks that I did with this. Um, it was made to be a tag. So in the stamp set, these pieces, for example, um, the, the reindeer piece right here is actually all one stamp set and the snowman and the, um, the pumpkin. So for the purpose of this particular card, I took the pumpkin, which was originally one stamp. I want to show you how it was laid out. It looked just like that. There was one stamp. I actually cut it apart and I left a mark there so I could put it back together and put it on one stamp if I wanted to. I have the clear mount version, so it's not it doesn't come mounted on the blocks and it allows you to do this. If you have the wood mount version, it's not quite as forgiving. So for this particular card, the clear mount version was so much easier to work with because I had that option. Okay, so here's our shimmer white cardstock and if, if the video doesn't pick this up, it is just a gorgeous shimmery cardstock. Again, perfect for watercoloring. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some basic black ink and Stampin' Up's basic black ink has some waterproofing in it, which is perfect for this card. I'm gonna stamp the face of the pumpkin right smack dab in the middle. And then I'm taking um, some post-it notes and I'm going to stamp that again on a post-it note. And I'm gonna trim this out really loosely. Now again, there are um, framelits that match the dies, but really I, I wanted to actually cut inside the line just a hair for this masking technique. And I, I didn't need it to be perfect. So we're just gonna layer that right over our pumpkin and then we're gonna take the bomb, the backside of that, of what would normally be the backside of a tag, and we're actually gonna use it as a stamp. I'm taking it a little bit out of an angle and stamping it on either side of that pumpkin and then once on another post-it note. And I'm making sure that I st stamp some of that towards the sticky part of the top so we can use that. And then we're just gonna trim. Same thing, um, a little on the inside of that line. Doesn't have to be a perfect cut. No one's gonna see this. We're only using it as a mask. We only need one of those because we're only doing one at a time. So I'm going to layer that on the left hand side and put some scrap paper down underneath us. Boom. And then we'll lift that up and layer it on the other side. Swap our scrap paper over. And boom. 
And then when we remove our masks, you can see how our pumpkin face looks like he's layered in front of the other pumpkins. It's perfect. Now, a little tip here. If you see real close, we're missing a leaf or just a tiny little piece of a leaf on that pumpkin. No worries. I've got the Stampin' Right marker to the rescue. I'm just gonna take the fine tip end of that and just draw that in. No one is going to ever know. <laughs> so that's a, that's a quick little tip there with the, the stamp and write marker. And lastly, we're just gonna stamp our trick or treat in the top center. Okay, next up I'm gonna do some watercoloring. I'm just taking a, a lid to an old embellishments tin. You could use a piece of plastic or stamp case, just about anything to do this with. I'm taking some re-inkers to the ink pad refills <laughs> there's a lot of uses for these little guys, not just juicing up your ink pads. Um, and one of them is for a really deep, rich watercolor look. So I'm taking Old Olive, Crushed Curry, or Daffodil Delight, and Pumpkin Pie. So I'm going to leave a little drop of each color in our lid here. And next up, I'm taking the Aqua Painter. This is um, Stampin' Up's Aqua Painter. I love these little guys. You just twist off the top, fill this with water, and you are good to go. Don't need any extra water. And just take off that lid, and it fits real nicely in the back. I've got some scrap paper under here so I can test how wet the brush is. I do like to test it always when I'm watercoloring. So we've got some pumpkin pie over here on the left. I'm going to start with the pumpkin. And like I'm, I'm just testing it. It's, it's more wet than I want it to be. So I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit before we get started and try that again. Okay, that's better. Now I'm starting at the top of the pumpkin. I want that to be the richest color and then get lighter as I'm working down. So I'm gonna start at the top and work our way down on the pumpkin. You can already see some of the dimension coming in here. As I go down, it gets lighter and lighter. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit more there and just really make that top rich, rich pumpkin pie color. Just layer it just a little bit more on there. And then we're ready to start our next pumpkin. And I'm gonna do the same thing on all of them. Just start at the top and work our way down. Again, the paper makes all the difference here. I'm using the shimmer white paper and it's so forgiving and, and easy to move some of the color around if you need to. Whereas the whisper white cardstock is not the same when you're watercoloring. It, it holds ink really well, but watercoloring, it's, it's just not as, as good in my opinion. All right, and then we're just gonna continue on doing that same thing to all the pumpkins, starting at the top, working our way down. Okay, so when our pumpkins are colored, they're gonna look a little bit like this. Each one is going to have a very unique feel and I'm just going to take the brush and wipe it off on the scrap paper and then we're going to start with some old olive and do the leaves in kind of the same way. I did the top of the leaves and then I went back when it was a little bit lighter after I've gotten some of that color off of the brush and went down so the top of each leaf is a little bit darker giving it some dimension and then just doing the vines and going down and then if you want to add even more dimension there you can by just layering a little bit more color on the top of each leaf
and then here see it's a little bit lighter I'm just going to add a little bit of darker color in each leaf and a little bit on the vine there oh it's just I love it I love it I love watercoloring and and you know what there's no right or wrong here even if you go outside the lines it's all good and it's all beautiful Okay, and then once your leaves are done, we're gonna do the inside of the jack-o'-lantern mouth with some either Daffodil Delight or Crushed Curry. I put Daffodil Delight in the supply list, but I happen to have Crushed Curry in front of me. And um, I'm gonna start by highlighting. And I'm gonna have to zoom in a little bit here so you can see the highlighting on his um, image there. And then I'm going to take some of that color off so it's nice and light and then I'm going to pull it so it's lighter into the center so it really looks like a light's flickering inside of him. It really just jumps out at you. Oops. <laughs> that was not the right color. Let's see. Now we're going to show how that was. I didn't mean to pull that pumpkin pie but I still think it's going to look awesome. This is demonstrating <laughs> this little mistake that I just made by pulling the pumpkin pie instead of the yellow. It's demonstrating how forgiving the Shimmer White cardstock is. And again, you can purchase that Shimmer White in my online store. But if you're watercoloring, that makes a huge difference. I, I almost like it better with that pumpkin pie, that little tiny bit of pumpkin pie that I accidentally put in there and pulled in. It really, really makes it dramatic and jumps out at you. Now, the one final touch that I'm going to watercolor on here is some smoky slate to make a little bit to to make a little bit of a shadow underneath him to really make them pop out. So I'm going to just put a tiny little bit of smoky slate ink pad refill into our palette. I want the brush to be a little bit more wet on this one and I want the color to be very very light. And I'm just going to just kind of do a little scribble action underneath each pumpkin to give it that tiny little shadow. You can see I'm even rubbing some of this off each time so it's really light. And our watercoloring is complete. Isn't that awesome? It's just so vibrant and it just jumps right out at you. I love it. Love it. So now all we need is a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of our layers to attach them to the card base. And as always, when you're working with a basic black or dark colored card base, you probably want to layer some um, Whisper White or the Shimmer White on the inside of the card so you can write on it. So that is my watercoloring technique for Halloween for today's blog hop. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to pop on over to my blog to download the PDF and you're going to want to enter the contest, which I'm gonna tell you about right now. All right, I hope you enjoyed my project today. I really had a lot of fun making it for you. Today's giveaway is going to be the brand new In The City Hostess stamp set. This is a very rare set. It's not easy to get because you can't buy it. You can only get this stamp set free with Stampin' Rewards or with my frequent buyer point program or if you're a club host or a workshop hostess or if you win our blog hop. To enter this contest, you are going to want to leave a comment on my blog. One comment per person will be entered into the drawing and the drawing will take place on September 23rd and the winner will be announced on our September blog hop. And you can increase your chances of winning by posting a comment on each blog in the hop. You'll be entered an additional time for each blog that you post a comment on. Good luck to everybody and if you're watching this video after the drawing deadline, don't worry, just simply pop on over to my specials page and you'll see all of my current giveaways. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah.